And then, yes, because you're right. In fact, uh, the fact that I was telling him when I started film, he didn't want to look at film. What did he know look at film? He watched the films in each day when I'm playing with Latimer and with Lennox and all of my fighters. I have uh, three or four big screens on in the gym that we put in a, a set of, you know, all of the fights combined in one DVD, and it runs continually. Because each day you see something different. You see something new. And sometimes the sparing guys, another trainer, anyone would say, well, you notice it, you should notice it. We were getting ready to fight Anthony Thompson with Latimer. We noticed Thompson had a good defense, very relaxed. We couldn't figure out our strategy. And believe it or not, after the third round, just sort of we had figured, couldn't really penetrate him with a jab. Just to physically just tie him out and move him and wrestle him and rough him up and figure he would tie out because we noticed he had a stiff back. He never bent his back in all of his fights. Something was wrong with his back. So we just from studying those films, we used it. And then after we saw he was tired and couldn't move and his back was hurting, we ran out the 11th round and one punch is over with but it, uh, you have to study films. And so he didn't want to do that. So I, I, I kind of move that. away from the Miguel Cotto. I